Zachary here, welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity and check this out, I've got a second Teban up and running. This has been running since Friday morning, this is Sunday evening and that's, so that's two Tebans, each putting out around 28,000, 28,051, that one's steady on, this one's a little bit lower I think, 27,146, it's only like 40rpm less, that, that bottom one's clearly getting a little bit more of the water that one's probably getting 2000 that one's getting what's left over because this isn't quite producing 4000 see that but um we're getting a lot of rf it's been going into this server's been running since since i did the last episode which was friday morning i think let's say sunday evening we've got 216 billion so we're not even at a trillion yet we're at like a not even at a quarter of a trillion so we're not even an eight for the way through filling this guy that's crazy 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 and if we look how much cyanide we've got as a measure there we go i've got two and a half thousand cyanide crazy how much uranium have i got Down to a thousand uranium oh man this this burns so much fuel uh let me take some of that put it in there uh someone asked last episode why i'm using these item buffers rather than just using chests for this the reason is because they have this configure io so you can set them to push and pull which is quite nice it's like a chest but it's got the ability to push and pull into and out of inventories which is very nice so i've got a lot of uranium in there pretty cool let's have all that as well and that's still producing so as you can see from last time i had that set up so this is all kind of manual still in it a bit i need to get that cyanide reprocessed into plutonium so this needs adding to the automation pretty soon anyway right last time i just made a start on the spatial io and as you can see i've completed the roof we're going to get on with this and this is the amount of spatial io things i need to give this 100 percent so if we're looking here now i've had to put a me control there because this each one of these pylons not each individual one but each row of pylons uses a channel so i've actually got if you look in that book there we're using 31 of 32 channels i have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 30 channels so i've got 30 pylons 30 sets of pylons there and then one channel is getting used by the special IO part, I guess. So that's where we're getting 31 in there. Here, yeah, look, that's 29. So that's two channels getting used there. So that's using one. So this isn't connected. I'm not actually going to use it for this. I just had to put this here to work out exactly how many channels I needed up here. So yeah, I need 30, 31 channels up here. And if we look in this now, remember before it was Giga RF, it's still 31 Mega RF. So is that 3. That's still a lot of power, but we're at 100% efficiency. If I was just to break one row of this, let's uh, break that there, you'll see that this, that's going to down to 96 and that's like four times as much. That's 126 rather than 30. So you can see how significantly the power drop is by, come on. What? There we go. There we go. Just taking, thinking about it. So that's only 31 mega RF. And at 100%. So that's what I was looking for. That uses a lot. The, the one in my test world, I think I did 7 blocks tall. This, because I've gone 16, it made it so I needed to have put quite a few more pylons in. And as you see, that's quite expensive. I did start using status quartz. I was trying to, I was being a bit tight with my status, wasn't I, last episode? I was trying to use nether quartz dust. But if we look at the amount of status I've got, and I've still got a little bit to process. I've got all that to process into dust. I've got 13k dust to leave after making all them. So I've got an absolute ton. This is set at the minute here yeah, on Fluix. So I'll put that back to crush Certus up instead of Fluix. And that'll turn all that into dust. And I can turn most of that into pure using that. So there we go. That's the first we needed. So I've got all that sorted there. We are now able to put whatever's in this into our cell what we're actually going to do is we're going to put our cells into the cell aren't we so for that i need to make sure i've got a way back otherwise i'm going to be stuck there so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take this little failed experiment of mine i'm going to go to the deep dark oh i should have done that i need an ender pill that's all right i can use my remote order okay that we made last episode and i'm going to grab my remote order grab some ender pearls 
I'll have 64 of you, please. Thank you. So we've got 64 ender pearls straight into the bag. Love that stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy off there. And I'm going to open him up. So shift right click. And I'm going to add a lot of fuel. Can I shift click? I can shift click. Wonderful. So I've now got 64 teleports in this. And of course, right, right clicking, I can teleport to the tree. So now that is on me. So when we go into that spatial cell, I've got a way of getting back out of there until I get some teleporters in there. So that's going to be the next bit. So what I want to do is I need to connect that to the power. And that's going to be the first thing we're going to see with the issue that we have once I connect that to the power. The way I want to get power in there is I could just use a dimensional transceiver. I could just want to use one of these guys. Did I say that? Dimensional transceiver, yeah. To get power in there. I don't want to do that. I want to use... I want to use P2P and I want to use quantum bridges. So I'm going to make our first quantum bridge. For the quantum bridge, I needed to make this guy, matter condenser. And all I've done, I've got my little octuple compressed cobble gen here. That's actually got two, uh, it's got one octuple in it now as well. I've slowly been putting more world interaction upgrades in here that will be full when I can be bothered to make. I was kind of waiting until I have got auto um, automated crafting because manually crafting a lot of pickaxes gets a bit boring. But, so that's working away. There was a comment asking what this was last week, uh, last episode. This is, of course, the Steve's Factory Manager that I set up early in this, earlier in the series that makes Octuple from Cobble. That's just processing this into the next level of Cobble each way, so we get to Octuple. I will use that at some point, that Octuple there. But what I've done is I made a matter condenser, really easy to make. Not quite as easy to spell. Matter condenser, that guy, you see there, it's just some iron, some glass, and a bit of fluix dust. And in that, I've put 64k storage cell. And what you can do with this is, if I take that out, it's actually going to lose it. You can click on this thing here, and it'll either set it to trash, set it to make paintballs, or set it to make these things, singularities. And this is what we need for quantum storage bridge, uh, bridges. Quantum, quantum bridges? Yeah, quantum bridges. So we need to get one of them once we get in there. Do I have to get in there just yet though? What I need to do before I do anything else is get power to this. So I'm going to go with a P2P because that's the that's the theme for this series, of course. So I need to make a couple of P2P tunnels. Uh, let's have a couple more of them. One, two. And I'm going to connect one down here. Mm, where do I want this? I guess the next logical step would be onto the bottom of there. So let's put one on there and connect that to this. And we're going to want our memory card. <gasps> Where memory card gone? Is it in there? Oh, there it is. Oh, I lost it then. I lost one before and I thought it was a running theme then. Shift click on that and now what I can do is go up to the top up there and with a little bit of cable, let's get a bit of cable while I'm here. I won't use the coloured stuff. Take a bit of that and possibly, do I need a bit of that? Possibly need a bit of that. Yeah, I do need a bit of dense. And if we come up here, what I want to do now is I want to take this ME controller away. I want to put the other end of this P2P tunnel on this line here, Ooh. just there. And that's just connected to a block at the minute, but I'm going to change that. So this line, of course, that line there just goes across and it's the same line that runs down into all these rooms of here. That's got them other P2Ps on from that previous episode. So I've got the cable going up there. Yeah, which comes out. Yeah, so I've got it's got a spare channel. And what I can do now is if I click on that, that is connected now to the network. And if I add one more bit of dense cable there, that means all this is going to get connected to the network and it's lit up. So there we go. We are using onto there, we shall see. There we go. We're using 31 of 32 channels. This guy doesn't have to be here. This guy, I don't think, has to be here. 
as long as it's on the network. So I can actually take this away, I think. And uh, the issue we're going to have there, as you see, because of the amount of controllers I've got, each controller only goes old 16K RF. So I've not got a full thing of controllers yet. I'm going to fill the thing up. I'm going to make all the rest of the controllers, because why not? I'll break that for now. We don't actually need to have that next to this. This can be down in the control area. No, it can't. I'm lying. Because I want to get myself in there. So I need to be able to press this from here. I could do it with wireless redstone, but wireless redstone is a bit weird with this. And it kept causing me crashes in single player. So I am, in fact, going to leave that there. Yeah, I am. I'm going to leave that there. So to get the power for this, we need a lot more than what we've got. So what we need to do next is make some dense, dense energy cubes, energy cells, these guys. So that's eight normal ones around a calculation processor and normal ones are Cetus quartz and fluix and quartz glass I need 10 of these so I need 80 of them 10 of these each one of these is 320,000 RF so 10 of them gives me enough gives me that 31 so yeah blow my mind maths on camera blows my mind so next thing I need to do I'm going to cut camera I'm going to fill all that up with controllers so where we've got all this wood now we've got a load of power i'm going to make enough controllers to actually complete this structure how i want it so it's all controllers then i shall see how much power that gives us and then i shall make the 10 dense energy cubes and i should be back dense energy cells i should be back when they're made and we'll put it together right then i've made nearly all the controllers i've run out of skystone and i can't be able to go get any more just at the minute but I, i'm missing one, two, three, four, that'll be around this. I'll stop me getting from here. All these middle ones are empty because they don't actually connect. And I don't think I want my dimensional transceiver there when I'm done. I think I want it in the middle. I think I'm going to keep my magnum torch there though. So I think I'm going to put the dimensional transceiver right in the middle of this structure. Uh, this is hollow under here because we're going to have some more of these P2P banks of two underneath there, of one there, one there and one there which might mean I'll leave these sides open I'm not sure so I can actually get in there I'm not 100% decided on that depending, depending on how many P2Ps we need so that for all the power it gives us is going to be nowhere near the amount we need for this so if we look up here again we are at, our max power is 1 of 31 so with all them I have got and it's filling up it's using it it's, it's bouncing around a bit you see uh, mobs can spawn on top of these I think these the tops of these are out of range of the yeah, of the magnum torch just the just the outside of them bizarre eh? so mm. uh, right so what I'll do now is we have got cable running that way and that way on this controller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one two three four five I need some covers for that bit one two three four five six seven and we're gonna go i've got ten of these dense energy cells made one two three four five one two three four five and then we'll connect them to the system like so and they'll start getting power and i shall get some covers not with that bag i want i shall get some covers out of my i might have actually used my covers let's have a look two okay so i'll make some more of them later on but so you get the gist of it i'll do that off camera i'm gonna get some covers cover them up so we're gonna have five look at that it's filled up already christ so each one of these holds 3.2 mega rf and that's filled up nice and quick because this thing's crazy and it can just pump out power when it needs to so what we should have up here now is look at that it's powered change color because it's powered we should have here now is we have got a max power of 33 and we need 31 to send something into a cell awesome so all i need now is a button <laughs> so a uh, button button i need a bit of smooth stone <laughs> so the way you'd normally do this or the way it's meant to be used i believe is i would put things on there I will put things inside this space and when I press a redstone signal onto this I'll put a button on there 
not going to do it because it's just going to use power to transfer in it, nothing. But if I was, for example, to put, let's uh, tie that up. If I was to put that there and then press the button, then that would get stored inside this cell. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put myself inside the cell. So we are going to go like this. Standing within this, I'm going to go boop. And it's transported me. And it's just going to look pitch black because it's crazy. And what I need to be able to do is place a torch because I'm scared. Oh, do you know what? I don't know if I can place it against the floor. Oh, man. So let's turn the map on. I'm at. See, I can move around. I can't go lower than 66, and I should be able to go to about. Okay, I can go to 79. 66. Why can't I not place on the floor? I think I have to put the floor in before I come in, damn it. I didn't think I did have to do that. Well, I possibly do. So, I've wasted a bit of power there. But what I can do, now I'm in here, is if I shift, I come into the air a bit, roughly in the middle, you can't see shit in here. If I shift click this and open it up again, I can lock that one. Go to add new. I can put in, I'm going to call it cell 1 for now, but we'll decide what this is for, it's probably going to be, probably going to be B's this one I guess. Uh, cell 1, commit, and now I can, you see the bottom left, I can mouse wheel, shift mouse wheel through these, so I can take myself to tree, and put myself back out into the tree. And what that will have done, it will have used all this power, but it's already refilled, Christ. So we have just... Use a bit of power there. Okay, what I actually need to do is I need to put a flooring down in there so we can actually see what's going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a Satyrian floor inside this up to the edges. Leave a little hole there so I can reach the button. This cell will have gone across there. Let's put it back. See what it's stored there? 27 by 27 by 15 is what it's stored. If we put it back there, do I have to empty it? I don't know. Put it back there. I can hear a spider. I don't see it up there, so where the hell is it? Unless it spawned in that second I had the magnet torch up. It did spawn in here, Christ. Hm. In the second I had a magnet torch up to put the block under it, I got I had stuff spawn in these dark areas. Bit more tidying to do. Okay, I'll lay a floor down on top of my cell up there. I might have to clear the contents of the cell by shift clicking it in my bar. We shall see. I'll put a floor down. I'm going to put walls up. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Tyrian floor in there and I'm going to put some lab block walls up in there. And then we'll put the cell in again and it should work better the second time. Let's give this another try then. What I've done is I've built myself a little cage. There's no need for these factory blocks. I'll just put them there just for fun, because you're not going to see them from the inside, apart from that one. This block here is strange. This, I think, is the block where the where the ender chest was getting placed that kept reverting to white, 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 because every time I place a Tyrian block there, it gets reverted back to the base Tyrian block. That is a weird block. Very weird. I wonder if I can actually change it in situ. I probably can, but that block's weird. If anyone knows what that's about, uh, I'd be interested to know. If I place that as a normal Tyrian, could probably place it in situ, like I just said, but just to show you what I mean, turn that. So that's a base Tyrion block. Look, if I make it into one of them again, and if I place it down there, bosh, goes back to a normal one. So that is a weird block. I've possibly block, broken that block. Now, what I do normally, and what I'll do with future ones, is I'll knock a hole in the wall so I can reach the button. But because I should be able to get in using this, I'm just going to go like this. And what you should see is this should all disappear. Boom. There we go, it's gone, and I've actually gone one block too high, okay. So, I have gone one block too high there, I wasn't sure if it went right up to this or not. I'll get rid of this later, but that does not count, okay, never mind. I shall bring that one lower in the future, now I know that. So what I can do now, is that's gone, that's now in the cell. Because I've got this, I should be able to put me in the cell. So let's have a try. What we should find is the Tyrian floor. I'm trapped in... Uh oh. Oof. I was stuck in a wall. 
So I was right up against the edge of the wall when I made that. I saved that, okay. There we go, we have got in here. This is the roof of our void cell. We can see, I think we can see, I don't know if we can see outside or not. But that was what we could see before, just that blackness. As you can see, we have got in here. Now we've got a workspace that we can work in. And I can light up normally. Now let's see, out of curiosity. So I can't break them blocks. You can break them in creative and go outside of the cell area. But this cell only holds 27 by 27 by 15. So that's our internal space here. Let me see if this block is still weird. I'll see if it's restricted to the overworld. Are you still a weird block? No, you're not. Okay, so there is a weird block in the overworld, and it's not in here. If we do press F3, you can see that our storage, so above Britannia, Britannia, then WS and LC, 255, biome storage cell. So it shows that we're actually in a storage cell there. Uh, very nice. So what I can have is, I can have these storage cells for... These storage cells can be for my processing of certain things. So I'm going to have one of these for Thumbcraft, one for Britannia, one for two probably for blood magic so I can fit two two um, tier six altars uh, one for bees and so on and so on and they'll need lighting up properly of course I guess mobs can spawn in here that's why wouldn't they and uh, they'll need to be chunk loaded as well for it to work properly that's all good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some RF tools teleporters so I can get in and out of this and I'm going to make a quantum bridge to get myself in and out of here as well. I'm going to get my any uh, Miami network in and out of here. So for that, I need to make myself four of them, eight of them. Yep, eight of them. Eight of these things. That's in Fluix Pearls again. Nice and easy. And not them. That's uh, nothing to do with it. And I need to get one of them quantum... them singularities sorted out. So that's going to get us our ME network in here. I want to do a power P2P off that to power the RF tools, the RF tools teleporter. So I'm gonna make a few bits. What I'm gonna do before I do anything else. Is this the middle? I kind of want it to be in the middle. It's roughly the middle. That'll do. I'm gonna shift right click this and cell one. I'm gonna put set here. So now it's gonna actually put me into the middle of this, so I don't spawn in the wall next time. And I'm gonna send myself back to the tree. So I'm just using this draconic teleportation thing as a temporary thing. What I need to do with what I need to do now actually is get an underpell and crush it in here. Sorry, come out the way a minute. Thank you. What we should have now in here is some ender dust. Just one. I thought I'd have two of them. And if we come across here to our singularities and this thing. I think four of them will do for now. What I'm actually going to do, I'll let it fill up. We're going to need 12 of these, I think, in total. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck that on the floor. It's going to disappear. It's been sucked up by that. It'll be in there. There we go. Why only two? Where's the rest of them gone? Oh, because two went into there. They've been destroyed. Meh. <laughs> be careful with this thing. It'll suck up anything. If you don't have a filter in there for cobble, it will suck up anything. So just suck them two up and send them to the matter thing, and, got, and they got they got destroyed. Brilliant. Anyway, two is all I need for now. In fact, one is all I need for now. That's only cobble making that, so I'm not that bothered. I need that and that. Let's make a tiny TNT. Tiny TNT. I'm on thingy search yet. Tiny. Yep, and I need to leave it. I'll come out of there. What for? Got no cobble stick. Up here, get myself a bit of cobble. So, what we should have up on the top here now is our cell. And this cell is there. That is. What well, is going to be, I guess, our B cell. So that now can just go anywhere it wants, really. I can put it, I can just chuck it in there. So I can put the ME network inside. In fact, I can keep it in my inventory and actually take it in the cell. So we're in the cell that I have in my inventory. 
mind blowing. Um, where can I do this? Let's let's come down here. So if I remember correctly, and uh, to put that down, I only did this the other week, and I think I forgot how to do it. But we'll soon soon find out. And I'm gonna take my magnet off, so let's keep pressing shift. I'm gonna go QQ, blow them up. So an ender pearl, and now a single out of your thing. A little bit of damage to the ground and gives me two quantum entangled singularities. Wonderful. That's the first thing we need for this. Now, what I'm going to need is to actually make the quantum bridge. So I'll get the bits for that made. Double check I'm doing it right. I shall come back and we shall link our ME network into the into the thing there, into the into the storage cell. So we've got our power and stuff in there. Right, before I do that, in fact, I won't cut just yet. What I'm going to do is quickly go into RF tools. And we're going to make a couple of these things. So we are going to... Oh, I don't want to be in there. What am I doing? I want to make... Oh, man, this thing, the way it resets is what I don't like. I want to be on RF tools there. I want to stay there, please. So I can search this separate from that. Uh, I'm going to make two of these. Let's have... Eight of them. Yeah, eight of them will do me. Uh, I'll have two of these matter right transmitters. Nice and straightforward. Just quite cheap to make. Two of these matter receivers. Very similar. This is the way around, Ali. Yeah, look, ender pearls, iron, this is the way around. And two dialing devices, which need redstone torches. We've got all we need there for a little teleportation system in and out. Now, I could keep bringing the storage cell in and out. I could just put it in there and bring it back here, build stuff in it, send it back again. But not everything can transfer in and out of these storage cells. And these are some of the things that cannot. I think, is it tell entities? So these, if I tried teleporting them in using this, then these would stay behind. So I can't do that. So I need to build, actually build one out here and I build one in there. So where I'm going to put, I'm going to have these, where am I going to have these? I'm going to want power to these. I think I'm going to have these over here. That's a facade. I, my own design is getting in my way here. Uh, right, I'll have a quick think where I want these. I shall run power to the ones this side. I shall be back when I've got the quantum bridge stuff made. And we'll get on with the next bit. As is often the case, I'm changing things on the fly. I am reacting to things that I don't like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this travel anchor and uh, what is going to go in its place is first of all we are going to put a dimensional transceiver there and it's going to be receiving power, receiving main base power yet and don't have to have anything else just receiving main base power, that's wonderful and what we're going to have around this are mm -mm, I need to get an actual wooden would pick, I've not got one. Since I used it to make the chop golem, I've not actually made myself one. I keep meaning to make a draconic one, but I want to do it on camera, so I'm actually like a dickhead. I've got no pick at all. I'm going to have a matter receiver, a matter transmitter. Yeah, and uh, 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 uh. What do I look at four out for? Um, I need a three or not four. And a dialing device. Where's the door? The door's there. I can go that side. <laughs> and I can put that one back. We don't actually need four after all. What we should have is power going into these things. One, two. That's going up. Three, wonderful. And we're going to give these names. So I'm going to call this guy uh, Tree Base. I'm going to call this guy tree base as well. Show you for why in a bit. And if we're looking at dialing device here, you see we've all got, we've got two things tree base and tree base. Now, if we was to dial this, all it would do is I'd stand there and I'd get sent to there. I'd stand there and I'd get sent to there. What you need is a matching one at the top. So, what I'm going to do is. Hmm, I wonder when I'll do this. Uh, it's a shame I've not got a travel anchor on me. That would be a bit easier. Have I got a travel? Not a travel anchor. A wand thing. Nope, not got one. 
One of them, got no power. What I've done is I've bypassed the, the one that, that was halfway up, I've kind of like filled it in. And I should have totally filled it in off, off camera. Instead we've got a travel anchor kind of half buried in the tree down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one up here. And so we've got one down there. This is just in like a little box on its own. Yeah, I think that's just going to stay there. Why not? Good over here. Mobs there. Bizarre. But that's coming out as well. And we're going to have a receiver here. That's going to need power. That's going to need power. Hmm. I'm making this far more complicated than it ever need be. I'm, yeah, I am. Mm. Let me have a little. What I want is I want to, yeah, I want that there. So I'm gonna have to put that there. I'm gonna have, to have a little change around of things again, and uh, I should be back in a moment again. Okay, big change around. I have. Uh, I think I've got this how I want it. I've, I've recorded one bit and deleted it, so I hope I've got, not got things mixed up. What I've done is I've moved my matter transceiver up to there. What it cannot do now is accept items into this because it's not attached to an ME interface. But uh, it's it's uh, just trickling around there, not quite on full power. And what I've got is a matter receiver and a matter transmitter, both called tree up here. So what I can do now with this down device, I can make tree down to tree base. And that'll turn on. It'll turn me back down here. So I can get up and down from that. It's quite expensive power wise. And these have a constant small draw of power. I'm not sure how small it is, but these have a constant draw of power while that's running. So you maybe wanna you maybe do want to interrupt that. You can uh, interrupt it in there. I click on it. Like that. But that one downstairs is always running. So I mm, don't know. If this is a great idea, but once I've got all the power, it'll be fine. So that's that bit. Now what I want to do is, I come down here. I've got some of these stuff these guys made. I don't need that dialing device. I don't think. Uh, do I? Uh, yeah, I will, because I need one from the other end. So I just need to make some more bits here. Let's make some more bits. I need another matter transmitter here. I need a matter transmitter the other end. So. I have to what's, get over there, damn thing. Well, one of them. What's what I'm missing? Machine frame. Not with them already. Uh, uh, uh. So one of them, and I want a receiver as well. So I'll swap them around. Get a receiver. They're going to go with me into the storage cell. That's in my inventory at the minute. And what I'm going to do down here. I am going to put my first quantum ring. So I've got 16 of these guys made. And with them, we make a... We lose 8 this end, 8 the other end. We'll go like that. In the middle of that, we put a quantum link chamber. Bam. And that will form a quantum ring. You see, it's already powered. If you remember, I've already got a cable there. That's a facade. I've got cables running across ready for these. Because I always knew I was going to have these guys. So that's really there. What we do with that is... We click on this and it's an inventory and we put one of these entangled singularities in there. We can name these in an anvil or an inscriber to help us with this. Well, I'll leave it like it is for now. When you've got lots of these, though, it maybe is a good idea to name them. And what else I'm going to do, I hope this works, so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to or not, is I'm going to attach a cable there. I do have a facade there, really. Shall I make some facades real quick? Yeah, why not? Let's make um, mm -mm. one of them as a facade, please. Thank you. And how the hell? I have to get it on there. I have to break this. I hope I don't lose the uh, singularity doing this. Go like that, cover that, and then put that back, and hopefully everything will be okay still. Yep, and single out still in there, I can see it. Sweet. And we are going to put our P2P tunnel there. I need to get a Android conduit. Let's make it into a power one. And I've reset this P2P RF tunnel. That's the one that's powering 
there and up there if you remember from last episode or the episode before so I've reset that so my memory card is currently set to that so if I set if I click on this this same missing channel is it going to connect yes wonderful so that's actually taking a channel through that that's connected to the bottom of that it should be taking a channel so what should happen now is if I put a matter transmitter there that should get power and it is excellent cool so what we've got is we have got a matter transmitter in front of our quantum ring now we need to go to the cell so what we could do here, this down device now should show two different matter transmitters. Sweet. And I guess it's going to be called, this is going to be our B cell, I guess. We're going to start with B before we do anything else because I need resources. So I'm going to call this B cell for now. Um, apiary. Apiarist. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> B cell. That's a solid Ponzi. Um, I'll call that B cell. So, this dialing device here has got a range. It can see. So we've got two here, so we can we can dial tree to tree base, and that'll do this one. But also in this, we can we could dial B cell to B cell. But we haven't got a B cell yet. If we, that's, so that's next up, right? Let's let's just interrupt that again. This, I hope this isn't too complicated. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confusing myself. So we've got that bit done. That's the first bit we need to do. The second bit we need to do is we need to go now into our storage cell. So I'm going to go to cell one, which is now I guess called B cell. And in here, and I actually want to get the middle this time. So it should be 25 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's just break that for a second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've come through here, down this line. The very centre of this place is there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on my quantum ring here, and I need another. Damn it, I need another piece of p tool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the matching quantum ring here. I can't click. I can't place blocks on the black, but I can place on the sides here. So that's all good. So I'm going to put eight of them down. Put that in the middle. Obviously, this is not getting power at the minute because we've got no power coming to it of course if I put that in there that's linked but it's getting no power so what I need to do now is I need to go back and I need to bootstrap this what, what I can do the first time this needs power I'm going to have to bring some kind of power device here energy acceptor but what I can do is I can attach uh, energy cell to this and it will store power in its energy cell and from that energy cell, it can reboot itself when it needs to, if that makes sense. Should that be here? Or should it be a custom side? Then what I'm going to do over here, complicated, complicated stuff, is I want another interface, P2P on the side of that. I think I'm going to need a cable and a P2P. Then I'm going to have power lines across there. Then I'm going to have here, I'm going to have my Dialing device, my MAT transmitter, my MAT receiver. Kind of wanted it more, sim more in the middle, but it has to be like that, I think. It's going to have to be like that. I might have a little work around with the redesign of this once I've got it all sorted. But basically, what we're going to have is power coming into these power going into an energy cell there and what we can have then is we can have cable run out of this and then we've got however many channels we want to feed into this coming back out and of course I'll do that with P2P as well so we've got as many channels in here as we need and then I've got a wear carrier in here that I can do for I can use for making whatever I want and it's certainly over complicated 
certainly not required to do this at all but uh, I'm kind of having fun with it so right I'll sort a few things out last bit of the episode I'll come back and this should be an all nice working area and be nice and tidy and uh, yeah we can we can take it from there okay then I think I've got everything I need uh, what I want to do really quick before I do anything else is I just want to grab I want to grab some of these guys just for fun I want to make some of that how much of this do I want? One, two, three. <laughs> Fuse quartz, blast resistant, and dry up. Uh, I haven't got any of that. Uh, can I use thermal expansion, hardened glass? Oh no, I've got to make three anyway. Christ. Not very good. Three of them. Okay, let's just have three of them for now. I need to get quartz. Really need to get quartz. Uh, what I'll do is I'll chuck that cinnabar in there. With some more uranium. Look at three of these guys. Why not? Why the hell not? These uh, look awesome. So all my power cables with this eventually. So all it is, it's electrum and the glass around your energy flux ducts, and then it gets this cryo stabilizer, which has got unlimited power throughput. I'm gonna go back to cell one. Well, this should be the last time we have to go back here. So, what I need to do in here is quit on the wall. What I need to do in here is <clears throat> first we need to bootstrap this. So what I've done is I've got an energy cell. I put it onto the other energy cell, so it filled up, and then I use a wrench to break it, so I can bring it here, and that is going to connect, and that is going to power this up. Wonderful. And now because this is powered, it can actually take power from the from the network as well. So this will always have 400 k in it. So that's taking power from it as well as putting it in. And what I need to do on this side is I hope I've got some. I have cable with me. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of cable there, and I'm going to put this P2P tunnel. I'm going to click it with the conduit to make it an RF tunnel, and I'm going to click it with a memory card, so it hopefully links to the other side. It's taking a channel. Now I think it's taking a channel off that same 32 land that's feeding into this. So I need to be aware of any channels I bring off this. So yeah, I've got to be careful where I'm doing this. But that now is putting power into these. So this has all got power. Wonderful. That's filling up. What I wanted to do, just to make this look fun, is I could do this with covers. You can get covers for these thermal expansion things. Not as far as soon as it's kind of high tech in here. I thought I'd do some of that stuff because look how awesome that looks. Uh, that's that side of this thing. And then over this side, what I'm going to do is I am going to put that. I'm going to get this red one that I've got in here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get some covers out of my building bag. Uh, covers, there we go. I don't think they they don't use these covers, do they? They have, they have their own covers, them guys. I shall have to get some. I uh, should probably put one in there as well. There we go. Get some tally. Can I cover that up? No, I can cover that up there though, I guess. Oh, that didn't do it right, did it? Bollocks. Uh, I don't think I'm going to manage to do that without breaking. That's what's going to break it, can't I? God, man, making everything more complicated than it need be. Eh. Eh. Put that guy back. So this is this is now as much part of our network as anything on the other side is. Is kind of what I'm trying to show you here. So there we go. Fasten that up. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on it with an Emmy crafting terminal. Boom. There we go. We've got access to our ME network through uh, through here in our cell and now because we have got that and that we're actually in this cell this cell in my inventory is where we're in so we are in that if that don't blow your mind I don't know what will um, this needs lighting up of course and it does need chunk loading as well so I mustn't forget that what I can do now in here I can give these two guys a name so I'm going to call this matter receiver 
B cell. No, no. Uh, matter receiver, matter transmitter. Hmm. What do I call the other one on the side? Do I call that B cell? So this transmitter is B cell. Right, so I've got two B cells. I've got one in storage. Tree base, tree base. Hmm, what did I name that cell the other side? Okay, let's go back and check real quick. This should be able to dial the cell transmitter, receiver, transmitter, receiver. Right, okay. So what I want to do is, yeah, that's right. Mm, complicated, complicated. B cell transmitter wants to dial tree base, or tree, I mean, receiver. So that is going to take me back. And it takes a, bit, takes a bit longer. That takes me back to here. Yeah, that's right. And then down here, I've got this one. That's called B cell as well. So B cell in, I guess we have to call that. I'll, get, I'll make better names for these. What I can do now with this dialer is I can B cell in to B cell. Right. So picture 12 of these all around here, all powered. And each one of them has got its own FPS. Where have you gone? Each one of them has got its own transmitter in front of it. So basically, all I do is run up to it, and that's going to put me into whatever cell the quantum link chamber is linked to. Like so, so then I can work in here. So this, of course, we're going to start make a start on gender industry in here. So that will be next episode. Um, I hope you like this one. I hope I'm not killing my power. I've got loads of power. Uh, yeah, next episode we are definitely going to start on gender industry because I have got limited resources. I don't want to do any quarrying if I can, if I can help it. Gender industry. So we're going to make a start on these things. So let's take a lot of bronze and stuff. Should be pretty straightforward. I do have to do some of the AE auto crafting and setup as well. So I may have to get that done sooner or later. Uh, but now we can start making B stuff in here. This guy is going to be full of B stuff. It's going to have loads and loads of apiaries and centrifuges and all kind of resource gathering stuff in here. We have another one of these cells for resource processing. We're going to have one for, like I said, one for but uh, one for Britannia, one for Foundcraft, a couple for Blood Magic. Uh, one for storage, possibly. Start storing everything in, in in deep storage things. But that's how I'm going to do my base this time. I'm going to have all this, and then I can start building the actual castle around the other, around the other end. And I could, if I wanted to, put all the stuff into drawbridges so it all disappears into the floor, but I probably won't bother doing that. There we go. I hope you liked it. A little bit different, I think. I don't think, I don't know if I've seen anyone do this stupid idea. But, uh, we've now got bespoke workspaces. That each need chunk loading, but yeah, bespoke workspaces nevertheless for our different stuff. Right, I'm going to wrap up there because I'm just babbling now. Thank you as always for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope I see you next time. Cheers, bye!